should be interesting. Always a special go. night when we get to see two rivals go head to head. Especially when it's within the same conference. These teams know each other so well. Going to the second and third option might be necessary tonight because they know what's coming on that first option. But can we keep the execution going, getting to the second and third options to get better shots? I love it. We'll be looking for that. You know, I think that was a message-sending foul there. They're not going to allow any easy buckets at the rim. Yeah, as a coach, I like that one. Make them earn it at the line. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. And now here's Chris. He's covered closely. Here's Alexander, and he uses the glass on the layup. You know, they'll be looking for more of that. An easy layup right there. Always nice to get a few easy ones early in a game to build a rhythm. Here's Perry. Stolen. Now here's Goodwin. Here's Tinsley. Oh, good on the triple. Perry passes to Sims. Pass to Jackson. Over Alexander. Jackson, that's good. They look to him offensively. A player who makes an impact on this end. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. And Tinsley kicks to Alexander. Over Jackson. No good from 11 feet. Solid defense down low, defending the rim. Pass to Sims. At the elbow, it's Jackson. And he jams it with authority. How about the effort on the offensive boards? Remarkable job, Clark. The coaching staff really appreciates that hard work. Love it. Not just the coaching staff, but his teammates do as well. Great work. The Bruins have gone two or three here to start off the game. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Trying to find a way out of this run, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. And it's good one missing. And I'm sure he's surprised that one didn't go down. Well, he's not going to make every shot, but you expect him to make these. The pass to Perry. Screen by Oakley. Jackson trying to break free. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Falling behind in this one. Needing a spark. They need to find something that works and stick with it. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. The Bruins leading by six. A three ball. Here's Jackson. And blocked the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. From deep. Chris can't hit. Defense got all kinds of fortunate right there. Usually he takes full advantage of that situation. I'm sure he'll take another shot at it if they keep giving him openings. Here's Perry. 23 points his last outing. Seemed as if he had the angle to finish, but the defense did just enough to throw him off. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. The Bruins have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. To the wing on the left. Sims dishes to Jackson. To the right side. Goodwin with the steal. Pass to Alexander. Goodwin with it. There's the triple. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Driving in. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Throw 
pointed down with tremendous power. Woo! One-handed nonetheless. He's an absolute force. That's for certain. So it's the visitors now. Eight-point game. Pass to Tinsley. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. He can't get that one. The Bruins go the other way with it. Last time these teams met up, you know, they practically got run over. But to be fair, they took issue with some of the calls they were handling. Yeah, a couple of their starters got into foul trouble. They felt some of the calls were ticky-tack, but nonetheless, the damage was done. They could not have asked for a better start. This is looking like a no contest already. Now Tinsley. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. For the teams, Mike, at this portion of the season that are struggling, is this the point of the year where you start thinking about making some trades, or is that a constant thought on, on coaches' minds and on your general manager's mind? That's mostly up to the front office to keep that line of communication open between staff and front office. But as a coach, you look inward, constantly thinking of ways to turn things around with the group you have. A lot of things to consider, aren't there? I mean, I mean, from playing time to contracts coming up and just a myriad of issues. You always wish you could have that MVP on your roster, but when you look and he's not there, you make do with what you have. They've been the aggressors right from the start, asserting themselves from the very beginning. Yeah, they're setting the tone, and they're doing it on both ends of the floor. And now, here's Chris. And the points coming for him in big bunches. His average stands at just about 29 and a half points a game. Now, the Bruins with it. Some momentum with a 15-2 run underway. Oh, my goodness! Come on, now! And the dunk to finish it off. A ah, beauty. Early on, they built this lead on the power of paint points. Being aggressive in the paint can take a team out of a game early. He climbs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. The Bruins leading by 13. The dish to Jackson. Sims the pass to Jackson. Here's Perry, covered by Chris. Five on the clock. It's blocked. Passes to Tinsley. The offensive rebound, Alexander. Here's Goodwin, and the rejection by Jackson. Tinsley with the bucket. And that's exactly what they want to do, get him open looks early. The Bruins have gone 7-12 from the field here in the first quarter. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And something to consider in the upcoming draft classes, like the possibility of a high school player making the jump right to the NBA. We've seen it before, although it's rare. Not sure how many could make that jump or if it's the right move. A few might try. Let's keep our eyes open in the near future. Here's Morgan. Out to the wing. Here's Melly. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Perfect pass there. Understanding how to set up his teammate. Kimball. Here he goes. Boom. He jams it straight down. Their scoring has been a problem. Been tough to handle. And it's enabled them to establish a substantial lead in the early goal. And so Don Nelson calls a timeout. He lobs it up. That's a great way to energize your team. Right? I mean, the timing and the chemistry on display with that well-orchestrated alley-oop. And looking to even up the score. They're hoping that's the start of a run. And he uses both hands to jam it in. Got to give some love to the point guard, showing that guards can throw it down, too. Oh, yeah. These backcourt guys can jam it with the best of them. Oh, they absolutely can. 
There are some serious rises at the lead guard spot. Here's Tolbert after the Bruins picking up a basket just moments ago. And it's Melly missing. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Here's Dan Tony, and down it goes, jamming that one home. Oh, how sweet was that reversed? He almost makes it look easy. <laughs> almost is right. But that took some real skill. You and I know that. Snip that highlight clip immediately. We'll be seeing that one for a while. Hey, I don't care who you're a fan of. You love seeing that reverse slam just like that one. Wasn't that pretty? Those kind of dunks build reputations. Well, he's already got a pretty good one. It's only going to get better. Jumps up. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. From him, fans love seeing this kind of dunk. How about that? Just giving the people, Clark, what they want to see. Got to give them what they want. Yep. And you heard their reaction. They were all about that finish. And there's the pass to Tolbert. Pass to Melly. Six on the shot clock. They need this. Got a piece of it. Jackson. There's the drive, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Bruins. The Bruins have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. Been pretty brave so far, about 23%. Pass to Tolbert. 50 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Got a piece of it. It's two on one. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Passes it to Jackson. Count that bucket. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. Jackson's gone two for four so far here tonight. Twenty seconds left in the first quarter. Here's the pass to Tolbert. Here's Melly. Pass to Tolbert. Five to shoot. To stop the drought. The shot comes out. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. And the buzzer sounds to end the first, and we've got a blowout underway here. The Bruins on top, running away with the team. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Bruins, what do you think, guys? A really good start shooting the ball. The offense was clicking early. And no surprise to see their lead after the shooting exhibition they just displayed. Great start to the game. Being a rough 22% so far in this one. Passed a good one. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Seventeen foot shot on the way and he knocks down the jumper six points for him Well, it's really hard to come back if you can't get stops You've got to figure out a way to stop the bleeding if you're gonna come back and he looked very comfortable on that one Not a lot of resistance. That was absolutely his shot to miss plenty of room at the arc all set up Just couldn't get it to fall The train it's hold in here by Tinsley. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Kimball covered by Chris. 
from 15 feet away, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Well, if you want the mid-range, it's normally there. Good one passes to Alexander. Chris kicks to Alexander. And the three off target. The Bruins have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Kimball hits it from three-point range. Hey, this is a rinse and repeat just like last game. He's had his fingerprints all over this one, looking totally dominant. He realizes his strengths on offense and does a fantastic job playing to them and finding ways to stay hot. And now here's Chris. This game he had 28 points. Here's Morgan. And just miss after miss right now. The Bruins have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Let's go. Offensive rebound. Out to the right wing. Sims the pass to Wesson. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Kimball goes up again. Passes it to Sims. Right side, Jackson. Dan Tony, Tinsley covering. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. I love the pursuit there he showed on tracking down that board. Yeah, fearless, wasn't he, Clark, on the glass? And it pays off for him. For sure. And the hunger that he plays with, you can't teach that. And it's good one missing. He just can't seem to get anything to go. He's in a bit of a rut. He's got to simplify things on offense. Concentrate on getting quality looks and not settling for bad shots. The pass to Weston. Some nice ball movement by the Bruins. Here's Sims. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. And Mike, you look at the conferences and how they're divided up. The East looks right now as powerful as ever with the Chicago Bulls and Detroit Pistons. The East has several contenders. The Lakers seem to be slowing down a little bit. You wonder if the West will ever catch up in terms of overall power. Jackson deciding where to go with it. Here's Oakley. It's hauled in here by Tinsley. Tinsley's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And they recover it. Here's Chris. Misses, and the dry spell continues. And he needs to simplify things on offense. He's settling for too many outside shots, and it's hurting his team. Oakley kicks to Sims. Pass to Perry. Stolen by Tinsley. He dishes it to Goodwin. To the paint. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. A beautiful setup for the alley-oop slam. Clark, I don't know what was better, the pass or the finish. Excellent execution. And that just shows how in sync they are as teammates. Pass to Perry. Down low, stolen by Tinsley, and they're moving it up. Here's Chris, and Chris throws it down. All of that has to be attributed to the activity at the defensive end. That's right. Those live ball turnovers like rocket fuel for an offense in the other direction. The Bruins have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all total. Kimball. That one is good again. He's six right from the floor with the basket. Even with the score where it is, he just keeps coming. A rough 22% so far in this one. Morgan the pass to Goodwin. Into the lane. It's hauled in by Oakley. Solid defensive effort. 
putting in the work to protect the hoop and disrupt his shot. And he's got his first free throw of the game. In their last game, he actually made these shots look routine. Yeah, he was really making it hurt every time he got sent to the line in that one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And here's Chris. No good there with this step back, Jay. The Bruins have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Kimball covered by Chris. Kimball finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. 17 points in the game. You know, even if they anticipated the step back coming, the defense didn't offer a ton of resistance. Passes it to Chris. Here's Gatling. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Tom Tolbert. Now the Bruins with it. They're on a 15 to 6 run. Deflects the pass, and it's out of bounds. Still the Bruins ball. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. They're in second, looking to take over the first spot. And of course, there's the Bruins. Quite a few spots down the ladder right now. And looking at that replay again, just a big time block right there. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time defense. And that was a foul, no question about it. He deserved to go to the line after that hit. This is his second trip to the free throw line. The Bruins making a switch here. Franklin's checked in. Here's Melly. Last game we saw him score 14. Here's the three. And Franklin pulls it down. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. And that one is hammered home. He gave that slam a little extra. Yep, he dropped every jaw with that finish. That might be the best dunk from him I've ever seen. Simply amazing. Chris with it. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. That's good from Chris. Shooting for the away team. And he makes both free throws. The Bruins have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Boom, he jams it straight down. Defense should have sent help. A size advantage down low makes for an easy two points. From the arc. And no good. The Bruins go the other way with it. Shot selection was the key for them in that last game, in my opinion. We'll see if they can replicate that level of discipline going forward. You know Coach wants it to. Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. That is all about outworking your opponents. Hustle points, you love them, Clark. Hustle points for sure. Buckets like that, they show how hard you play. Here's Chris. After the Bruins picking up a basket just moments ago, the baseline J off the mark. Now, here is Oakland. Guarded closer. His athletic ability, especially his vertical, levels the playing field for him at the four spot, making up for his smaller build. Here's Chris. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Chris has got six points in the quarter. He has been brilliant in this game. 67% from the floor. And he takes that one up and powers it through. He's been a big factor here in the first half. Scoring in bunches. There's a minute 40 left in the first half. Is it just me or has this guy grabbed every rebound tonight? What a terrific performance. Pure effort out there. Heat is fighting, clawing, just willing himself to get everything. Here's Melly. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. 112 left now here in the second. Here's the lob to the hoop, and Chris throws it down. Incredible finish, and they made it look easy. Don't you love to see that beautiful alley-oop? Wow. 
Talk about a major throwdown. That was special. Here's Perry. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Kicks it to Jackson. The pass to Franklin. Shot clock at six. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Humongous dunk from him right there. All over the defense, too. That was impressive. Talk about finishing with confidence. Chris gets the bucket. Nice pass, creating the opportunity. Great teamwork on that one. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Oh, oh what a finish! finish. Oh, yeah. How about that oh, yeah. one? And he dunks it down. Making a statement big time. My goodness. Show stopper for sure. Had the hang time and knew what to do with it. Chris with another miss. Here in the second quarter, he's been cold from distance. I think he may need to adjust his approach. I love the way he got right to the rim, all the way to the basket. Didn't settle that time. Running the floor, just doing an excellent job out hustling everyone else. The Bruins have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. There's 14 seconds left in the first half of the game. So the wing on the left, from deep. No good on that one. With two seconds left. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. Number one. At the line for two. And so he hits both. So as we conclude the first half, so far, fairly one-sided. The Bruins on top, opening up a huge gap. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams.